Virtua Fighter 2, it's a fantastic 3D fighting game that has a tricky PC port but is completely playable with some workarounds. As always, support the official release. In order to play Virtua Fighter 2, you need a copy of the game and soundtrack, lm.dll in order to patch the CD audio in, and DG Voodoo 2, links below where applicable. So you can use my abandonware in order to download the ripped file, but there are some files missing probably for file size reasons. Keep that in mind and consider your options here. If there are some errors, that might be the reason, so plan accordingly. So the game won't start on Windows normally unless you set the compatibility mode to either 8-bit or 16-bit. 16-bit will work later on with EG Voodoo 2. Drag the config file and the application file from the main folder as well as the graphic DLLs from the ms-x86 folder into VF2's folder. From there, Virtual Fighter 2 should be working correctly, and you'll know it's working with a watermark on the corner. DG Voodoo 2 should be played around with to adjust various settings, change attributes, and remove that watermark. Notably, while the application is open, left-click to show all sections of the configuration. Go to Direct EXT Set in particular. Go to Enumerated Bit Depth and set it to 16. Make sure your compatibility on VF2.exe is 16 too. From there, you should be able to use the AI learning feature, which was something that you could use in expert mode and it essentially would learn from your skill set and you could access it in the options. Before, it would just crash the game, so now hopefully it's working properly again. The game should be working correctly aside from audio. This can be solved with inmm.dll. Make sure you have the music files ready and convert them to either WAV or MP3 with the VLC player. Download and install the DLL into VF2. And keep the music there too as well. Run the setup, click the method tab, and set default to direct show. Now, go into the any tab, click add, and select all extracted audio tracks. Click save, put the any into the game directory. Now that you have the any file in the game directory, patch by dragging vf2.exe onto inmmcnf.exe. Your mileage will vary as far as settings go, but with any luck, you're now running Virtua Fighter 2. In case of anything, I'll try to help on the comments below, but hopefully this works. Thank you for the request from the other Virtual Fighter video, please go check that out. Anyways, consider subscribing and liking this video, and stay tuned for more at Sub Repo.